Have you ever gone into Google Ads, looked at your reporting and thought, what the heck is going on here? Why are my CPCs so high? I'm used to paying maybe $5 or even $6 for a click. And today, for whatever reason, I'm paying $20 for a click. What? happened? Why are CPCs getting so high? Well, lucky for you, I'm going to break down the five most common reasons you're going to see a spike in your CPCs and what they mean and how you can interpret these spikes to take action to bring things back under control. So the first reason we are going to look at is essentially when you launch a new campaign or resume a paused campaign. When you do this, the time of day that you do this matters a lot. If you launch a new campaign or resume a paused campaign at say 9 p.m. in the evening, that doesn't give you much time left in the day for you to start running ads. And that's a problem because Google has your daily budget and only has a few hours left to spend it. Now you would think that Google would pro rata that amount you have to spend and think, okay, if I've got a budget of $100, maybe we just spend $30 today because there's not much time left in the day. What would be the point in spending $100 in just a handful of hours? Well, you're just kind of wrong. Google will go ahead and try and spend every cent of that $100 in that short time frame and the best way they can do that is to jack up your max CPC bids at the point of auction. Now this obviously matters when you're not using manual CPC. Obviously if you are on manual CPC then you have full control over those click costs but if you're on a smart bidding strategy and you launch a campaign late in the day Google will really really push because it thinks it has all of the budget to use in that day before the day hits to midnight and it starts again. So what you tend to see happen is really overinflated CPCs, followed by the next day, things are completely back to normal and settled. But that's a key thing to look out for. Think of the time you resume a campaign or start a new campaign because it really does matter when it comes to what you're paying for your traffic. Another reason I see CPCs start to massively increase when I look into campaigns is because you're using a smart bidding strategy like maximize conversions or maximize conversion value and you haven't set a target CPA or a target ROAS. Now you may think the description of Google will get as many conversions or drive as much conversion value as possible for the budget it has available is a good thing. You think Google will be smart when spending your money to make sure they can try and get as much as possible for your budget. You'd be wrong again. Google will try and spend all of your budget even when there's not necessarily an opportunity to get sales there. So if you're in an industry where there's not huge amounts of volume and you're pushing a maximized conversion strategy without a target CPA, Google is just going to keep pushing for spend and it doesn't matter how many conversions it gets, it will try and get as many for your budget. But what tends to happen is it gets really aggressive to find those conversions because there isn't a guardrail for Google's bidding system in terms, in terms of a target CPA or a target ROAS. And that's a major problem because it will just go off the rails, bid very aggressively, and then you're going to end up with sky high CPCs. So if you are using a smart bidding strategy like maximize conversions or maximize conversion value, please, please, please always set a target CPA or a target ROAS unless you have a very, very good reason not to. Another reason you're going to see massively high CPCs is also tied to smart bidding. There's a theme developing here. And it's when you run a campaign with a really high budget, but there's not a lot of search volume for what you're promoting. So say, for example, you're in an industry where it's very, very niche and you're not getting a huge amount of search volume. You're not driving a huge amount of traffic, but you've got a significant budget. Again, Google is going to want to try and spend that budget the best way it can. Yes, if you set a target CPA or a ROAS target, it can help. But ultimately, if you over budget a campaign where the demand isn't there, you're going to be overpaying for traffic, generally speaking. If you lower that budget in line with what the expectations are for the volume in that campaign, it will rein Google in a bit more. So instead of thinking it has, say, for example, $1,000 a day, it thinks it has $500 a day. And it will factor that in when it goes into the auctions when it's bidding, it will take that into consideration. It will look at your targets and it will look at your daily budget as well. And that will decide how aggressively Google can bid for your campaigns. So don't over budget your campaigns because Google will want to spend your budget and that's just going to lead to high CPCs. Oh, just one more thing on this as well. If you're using smart bidding and you're still seeing really high CPCs, you can of course use a portfolio bidding strategy to get a smart bidding strategy and a maximum CPC in one. It basically gives even more of a guardrail when using a smart bidding strategy. It means you 
can't pay more for a click that you set when you set your max CPC, but you also give Google room to adjust your bids in line with your targets as well. So it's a really good way to look at your campaign management. I've made a video on portfolio bidding strategies. I've linked it in the description below, but that's one thing you can do to bring your CPCs under control when you're using smart bidding and you're seeing astronomical click costs. Another reason you're going to see really high CPCs all of a sudden in your account is that more competitors have entered the auction. So if you go into Google Ads and go into your auction insights report, it's going to give you a breakdown of who you're competing against for the auctions you are entering. It's going to show the percentage of auctions you enter versus the total number you could have entered, which is known as your impression share, the share of impressions you're getting for your given cohort of keywords. It will show you how frequently you're showing for those searches, but it will also show how many competitors are showing for those searches as well. Keep an eye on this data and you can use your date fields in the campaign settings to see what competitors were showing at different times and periods across the year. So you can actually backdate this and see who was present at different times. If you're noticing an increase in your CPCs, check who's in the auction. You can actually see and track over time who is involved and who isn't. If you're noticing other competitors you haven't seen before start to enter the auction, that's only going to have an impact on your CPCs because there's more competition. If you keep an eye on your impression share and also look at your auction insights report and notice your CPCs are starting to creep up, See what's happening in this report because if you're seeing that your CPCs are increasing but your impression share is basically staying where it is, Google is having to work harder to find conversions in line with your strategy, meaning you're likely being squeezed by the competition. Take a look at that report and understand whether or not you are being squeezed by new competitors or just more aggressive existing competitors as well. And the final reason you're going to see CPCs are getting higher is Google's fault. Google is increasing CPCs. Now, we've seen in data from PPC software company WordStream and Local IQ, where they track the overall accounts they manage. So you're talking thousands of accounts here. They look at the CPCs by industry. And generally speaking, every year they increase. Now, that can't always be down to competition. You know, and I know, if you go into your search terms report, so your auction insights reports, and you look into that report, you're going to see competitors that you see over and over and over again. And unless they're all getting more aggressive simultaneously, then it's very unlikely you're always going to see increasing costs over time just because of this one factor. Yes, a lot of advertisers do increase their budgets year over year. There are things like inflation that impact how much people spend on advertising. And yes, it is a factor. New advertisers spending more money and advertisers increasing budget year over year is a factor. But another factor is Google just increasing the threshold price price of the auction. We used to suspect this was something that happened, but now we have evidence because in the legal case Google is fighting, it came to light that they increased the threshold pricing of auctions by 5% and sometimes even 10% year over year. So we know that Google is doing this as well, and it has to be a factor. We can see across basically all industries, the costs are increasing consistently, and some of that has to be down to Google. But overall, what can you do with all of this information on your high CPCs and how to counteract them? Well, there's one thing I will say, and it's this. CPC isn't a metric you necessarily want to optimize. It's more a demonstration of what's going on within your campaigns and showing symptoms of what's going on in your campaigns. If you're seeing your CPCs increase, it could be down to the reasons I've mentioned. It doesn't mean you need to start thinking, oh my God, I need to lower my CPCs because the main thing is your campaign objective. If your objectives are being met and you're hitting your target ROAS or you're hitting your target CPA, then your CPC sliding up or down isn't going to have a massive impact on your overall business. What does have an impact is if your CPC becomes so high, it's prohibitive to your overall bidding strategy, then you need to take specific action to bring things back in line to make your campaigns more profitable again. So that could mean lowering your CPA target or increasing your ROAS target to put more strain on the bidding to make sure things come in at the right costs. It could be looking at things things like your click-through rate and seeing how much traffic you're actually getting generally. It could be a case of looking at your budgets as well, because if CPCs are increasing and you're hitting your goals, it's likely the same number of people are still in market for searching, but you're just missing those searches because the traffic costs have increased. So you could start increasing your budget, but keeping your bidding targets the same and seeing what happens as a result to capitalize on the additional uplift in search. So if your CPCs are increasing, but you're still hitting targets, 
it makes sense to do this to try and capitalize on all of the volume and bringing all these new conversions in at the right costs as well. Ultimately, lowering your CPCs is a fool's errand in a lot of ways because you want to maximize on volume, you don't want to just cut down your volume for no good reason, so CPCs as an objective to optimize isn't really something you want to look at primarily. Again, it's a symptom of performance, not something to directly optimize. But let me know in the comments if you're seeing higher CPCs in your campaigns. Tell me about your CPC horror stories. I've heard some really horrendous ones when I've spoken to clients over the years. I'd like to hear yours as well. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to head over to darren-taylor.com in order to book a consultation and work with me on your PPC campaigns.